A 17-year-old female football player named Priya died at the Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital in Chennai on Tuesday. The aspiring footballer allegedly died due to medical negligence. The victim's family and friends staged a massive protest in Chennai as her body was brought out of the mortuary following a post-mortem. However, following negotiations with the police and her family, they finally took her body home for the last rites. Here's a look at how the dreams of an aspiring teenage footballer were squashed, courtesy a botched-up surgery. Priya was a first-year student in the physical education department at Queen Mary's College in Chennai. On October 26, doctors detected a ligament tear on Priya's right knee. They advised surgery to mend it. When Priya and her family sought a second opinion with doctors at the Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital, they offered the same advice. They asked her to undergo the surgery at the Periyar Nagar Hospital as it was closer to her house. The surgery was allegedly botched. The initial surgery was performed on November 7 and on the same evening, Priya started complaining of pain in her legs. Doctors prescribed a compression bandage and medicines for the pain. The next morning, Priya was shifted to the Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital due to a suspected blood clot in her leg. Doctors ran a series of tests and informed her family that the tissues in her right leg were dead. They further told them that only an amputation could save her life. Priya's leg was amputated on November 9. However, her pain did not end there. On November 14, she underwent a second surgery as her condition did not improve. Priya was reportedly unconscious for a long time after the surgery and woke up briefly. But around 7.15 a.m. on Tuesday, Priya died of multiple organ failure. The budding footballer's death has sparked a political slugfest. Tamil Nadu BJP chief Annamalai in a tweet blamed the DMK regime for the teen's death. He also demanded a compensation of 2 crore rupees for Priya's family. In the meantime, Tamil Nadu Health Minister Ma Subramanian announced the suspension of two doctors accused of medical negligence. He has assured that legal action would be taken against them and announced a compensation of 10 lakh rupees for Priya's family and a government job for one of her family members. Priya's father Ravi has also demanded the arrest of the doctors involved in his daughter's death. During the day, Priya's last WhatsApp status was shared widely. She had shared a status asking her relatives and friends to not worry about her or her game. She told them to trust her and that she would return. Her status added fuel to the growing anger against the doctors for alleged medical negligence. A Federal Report